Okay, so this is part two. I was discussing the lower part of the painting, and um, in some paintings I do use all the brown. You know, I will keep it, I will keep a continuous flow of the same colors, keeping the same ideas. But in this one, I really wanted to have like smooth down below. I want smooth carpeting over here, smooth carpeting here, and her skirt to be smooth as well. So I'm going to try something. And it doesn't mean it's going to stay like this. It could change. It could change pretty quickly. I'm, I'm almost never married to one idea, even though I do paint the paintings ahead of time to keep myself organized. I do veer. I can try things, and I'm not going to stay married to one one idea, especially if it's not working. That's that's just a foolish waste of time and materials, which are not cheap. I think I'm running out of Neo. I'm going to steal Andy's. Don't tell him. Okay. There we go. There's the carpeting. It's not going to stay this color. This is just a note. Always just notes at this stage. Now, can you see how it's, the painting is changing, just having these light notes down? I love to paint. I love to paint. Yes, it's very abstract, and no, it doesn't make any sense. This is what I do. I tend to build gigantic puzzles, sometimes really, really evil puzzles for myself, with colors that don't make sense and shapes that don't make sense. And then I see if I can get myself out of it. Because it is all fixable. Oh, that was, I, I was trying to remember that rule for another video. The three rules of painting. It doesn't matter. It's all fixable. No, no, still forgot the third one. And it could be it doesn't matter. I don't know. Okay, you can kind of see how it's, it's not only filling out, but see how it's affecting the sweater. And now I've got to do something with the skirt so I can keep the same flow, the same balance and the same continuity, which is something I always talk about. This is one way to keep continuity, is not to focus on one thing. The whole painting is what matters. I am going to bring some black in over here. They actually, in the photograph, they had paper in the fireplace. I guess they were getting ready to make a fire and not real wood. So that's going to be brown, uh, blues and white. Hopefully I can get it real crispy looking. And then we've got the grate thingy, the thing that holds wood, which I can't really see right now. But I'm just going to make a note. That that's where it goes. I'm going to go back to doing a little bit on the chest, just do an outline of, of it. Um, I had a teacher say to me once, we don't use black to outline our figures. He's a very famous portrait artist from Boston. And um, he would say to me, we aren't here to paint pretty pictures. I never really understood that. Because even pictures, when they're ugly, they're not quite what we want to see. They still have to have some beauty to them in the technique. So, Rabbit, you are full of shit. Rabbit was full of Korea. Because the blackout ones actually, 
They help to define, I find. They really help to define. When I don't use black outlines, things look too wishy-washy. They don't feel right to me. So that's why I'm adding, that's why I add black. Also, please, let's note, Matisse, do you, Matisse used black outlines, as did Picasso and a million other guys. It's okay to use black, and it's okay to paint pretty. Just make sure you have some intent behind the painting. Mm. So I still got to still got to do the skirt. I still got to do the legs. But this is what I wanted to talk about: was having some type of background to refer to instead of obsessing in the thing in the very center of the canvas, which I don't really I don't like to do very often. Your eye is automatically drawn to the center. It feels better. It feels more professional. It just feels more challenging when it's slightly off or even off to the side instead of dead center. But she, there she is, dead center with her arms crossed, wearing a sweater. All right, well, I guess it's going to start snowing in a little bit, so I'm going to get as much done as I can tonight, and we'll post it. And then we'll come back to it, I guess, oh, Monday. Wow a long ways away. All right, there'll be pictures up on Facebook of the various stages, all right? Ciao.